Need more options to finish your seams? Let's practice sewing a turned and stitched seam finish. Now snip and rip a four inch panel of muslin. Now measure, mark, and cut two 10 inch panels of muslin. Make sure that you have two four by 10 inch panels of muslin. Just a little reminder, don't forget to keep the raw edges of each muslin panel perfectly aligned together. Now let's locate our one inch seam allowance guide on our machine. Your one inch seam allowance guide is exactly one inch away from your needle at its center position. Line up the raw edges of your seam allowance with the one inch seam allowance guide. Continue sewing your seam. As you get to the end of your seam, carefully backstitch. Now let's iron our sample. Be sure that your iron is on a cotton and steam setting. Place your sample on your ironing table, seam allowance facing up. Separate and smooth the seam allowance open with your fingers. Then press your seam allowance flat and open with the iron. Now turn your sample to the correct side. Be sure to check your sample for any imperfections while ironing. Now hold a seam allowance to the right and flip everything else to the left. Now flip your sample over. Carefully fold your seam allowance in half. Be sure that the raw edge of your seam allowance is meeting the seam. Now press your folded seam allowance in place. Be sure to take your time. Now simply follow the identical process for the other seam allowance. Now turn your sample with seam allowance facing up. Carefully press your folded seam allowance in place. Let's head back to our sewing machine. Hold and lay one of your seam allowances to the right. The rest of your sample should be going to the left. Partly insert your folded seam allowance with the edge sitting directly below your needle. Be sure that the folded edge of your seam allowance is aligning with the edge of your foot. Remember to keep the folded edge of your seam allowance aligned with the edge of your foot. Now don't forget to backstitch. And of course, carefully press your seam finish flat and open. And don't forget to press both sides. And once again, we've practiced and beautifully executed a turned and stitched seam finish sample.